In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, MCU, some of the most compelling stories aren't just about battles against supervillains or intergalactic threats, but the deeply personal and psychological journeys that the heroes themselves must face. Beneath their extraordinary abilities and heroic acts, many Marvel characters grapple with intense emotional and mental struggles. Through identity crises, trauma, grief, and inner conflict, the MCU delves into the complex minds of its heroes, revealing that their greatest battles are often the ones waged within. In this exploration, we will dive into the top five most psychologically complex characters in the MCU, Loki, Wanda Maximoff, Dr. Stephen Strange, Mark Spector, and Tony Stark. These characters each provide a unique perspective on mental health trauma and the challenges of navigating a world where superhuman strength is often not enough to overcome the human mind's deepest fears and vulnerabilities. Loki's psychological complexity stems from his identity struggles and his battle for self-worth. Raised in Asgard but born a frost giant, Loki's entire existence is marked by a deep sense of betrayal and rejection. This leads him down a path of mischief and villainy, fueled by his desire for validation and recognition from those who have always viewed him as less than. Throughout the Loki series, he's confronted with the concept of predestination as the TVA shows him that his life has always been scripted, his every move controlled by forces beyond his knowledge. This realization forces Loki to confront the idea of free will. Was he ever truly in control of his actions, or was he always destined to be a villain? These existential questions dig deep into Loki's psyche, as he redefines his purpose in a world where he is no longer the central figure in his own narrative. Loki's trauma comes from his constant need for approval and the devastating realization that he may never truly have been his own person. As he encounters different versions of himself, he's forced to face both his darkest impulses and the potential for heroism that has always lurked beneath the surface. Wanda's journey in WandaVision is one of the MCU's most profound examinations of grief and trauma. Wanda creates the town of Westview as a way to cope with the unbearable loss of her brother Pietro and her love, Vision. In doing so, she fabricates a reality where everything is perfect, a 1950s-inspired sitcom world where her pain doesn't exist and she can live happily ever after. However, this world is built on denial. As cracks begin to form in her illusion, Wanda is forced to confront the truth. She cannot hold on to her fantasy forever. The depth of her psychological trauma is revealed when she is confronted by the people of Westview, who are trapped in her mind control. Wanda's breakdown is an exploration of how far someone might go to avoid the harsh reality of grief. It's a story about mental health and the dangers of not dealing with trauma. As she moves through the stages of grief, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance, Wanda comes to terms with the fact that she must let go of the people she's lost, no matter how painful it is. In Moon Knight, the MCU dives into one of its most intense psychological stories by introducing Mark Spector, Stephen Grant, and Jake Lockley, who together reflect the complexity of dissociative identity disorder did. Mark, a former mercenary, is the primary personality, but Stephen Grant, a mild-mannered museum worker, also exists within Mark's fractured psyche. Each personality serves a different purpose, with Mark being the hardened fighter who can deal with danger and trauma while Steven represents the innocent, emotionally softer side that Mark has long suppressed. Throughout the series, Mark and Steven slowly become aware of each other's existence, and the psychological tension between the two becomes central to the narrative. Mark's backstory reveals a traumatic childhood event, 
which causes his mind to split in an effort to protect itself from unbearable emotional pain. Mark's psyche fractures further with the appearance of a third personality, Jake Lockley, a violent and ruthless persona who operates in the shadows, often doing what Mark and Steven cannot. Jake's presence represents the darkest aspects of Mark's trauma, and while he remains mostly hidden for much of the series, his emergence in the final moments symbolizes the parts of Mark's mind that are still struggling to fully reconcile with his past. The exploration of Did in Moon Knight is a psychological dive into trauma, identity, and the complexities of the human mind. Dr. Strange's psychological battle is deeply tied to his obsessive need for control. As a brilliant and egotistical neurosurgeon, Stephen Strange's identity is rooted in his abilities. When a car accident destroys his hands and career, Strange spirals into a desperate search for healing and purpose. His introduction to the mystical arts is his first real confrontation with his ego. He learns that his talents and intellect cannot always save him, and that true strength comes from accepting what cannot be controlled. In Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Stephen's psychological journey becomes even more complex as he faces alternate versions of himself from across the multiverse. These other strains serve as reflections of the path he could have taken, showing the psychological consequences of unchecked power and arrogance. This journey forces Stephen to confront the darker sides of his character, the parts of him that always seek control, even at the expense of others. His internal struggle is about learning to let go, to trust in others, and to accept that even the most powerful sorcerer in the universe can't control everything. Tony Stark's psychological journey takes a significant turn in Iron Man 3, where he grapples with severe PTSD following the events of the Avengers and his near-death experience in the Battle of New York. The man who once lived a carefree, reckless life is now plagued by anxiety attacks, sleepless nights, and obsessive behaviors as he builds more and more Iron Man suits in an attempt to protect himself from his deepest fear, vulnerability. Tony's psychological struggle is rooted in his realization that he isn't invincible and that the world is far more dangerous than he ever imagined. His trauma manifests in his inability to cope with the overwhelming pressure of being a hero, as well as the fear of losing the people he loves. The film explores how even the most confident, larger-than-life hero can be affected by mental health challenges, and Tony's journey to overcome his anxiety and rebuild his confidence is one of the most humanizing arcs in the MCU. These five characters represent the MCU's most intense explorations of trauma, identity, grief, and control, giving a psychological depth to their heroism. Their struggles highlight that even in a universe full of gods, sorcerers, and superheroes, the mind remains one of the most complex and powerful battlegrounds.